I have gathered you here today to tell you about a few of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, I genuinely thought that that would be a really good intro. Hey guys, it is the end of August and this month has been so crazy but the most brilliant crazy ever. I've been abroad the entire summer working as an activity leader for a bunch of international students coming to Brighton um, to do a language course and it has been such an experience and I love all my kids so much and I miss them. Since it's the end of August I thought that I could do uh, August favorites because I've never done a favorites video before. Uh, so the first couple of things that I'm gonna go through are kind of face, hair and body favorites. If you happen to be a boy or a girl who's just not interested in makeup and body and hair, then just skip along because I'm going to talk about movies and TV shows and ah, I'm more excited about that. But if you're not into that, uh, at the very end, I have some travel favorites, I have some event favorites, something for everyone. We should start. <laughs> and my first item on my face favorites is the Naked palette. Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. It took me a long time to get this one. How many are out now? Three? Four? I already had the Naked 1 palette, but honestly, and as you can see, okay, I'm not trying, I'm trying to open this as a mirror. I don't want to show you my beautiful setup because it's literally my tripod on a chair on a table. As you can see, I haven't used it that much. I'm not a huge eyeshadow person. I basically just use um, this one, and which is Naked, and... Buck and um, Smog or Dark Horse, those are the ones I really use on this palette. And I went to the store attending to get, attending, intending to get the Naked 3, but me and the lovely lady at the counter, she we agreed that um, the 3 had too many pink colors in it, and I'm really pale with blue eyes and blonde hair, and that kind of just makes me look a bit sick. So. I went for this one, which is, I think it's quite similar as the other one. These colors are much more matte, so that's nice, ain't it? But yeah, I like this a lot. It's like stuff for eyes. <laughs> so good at explaining stuff. The second face favorite that I got is this, which is a CC cream from Smashbox. And to be honest, I <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the difference between CC cream and BB cream. It goes on the, your face and it's lighter than foundation. It's nice. <laughs> it's uh, hydrating and you can also use it as a primer. Cool. Over the summer I also kind of discovered Soap and Glory, which is a brand that until very recently we haven't had here in Norway. We still don't have any of the makeup stuff, so when I went to England um, I bought a lot of the makeup stuff. Uh, and I bought the solar powder, which is like a... Uh, I touched it, I touched it, uh, which is just like a um, nice little kind of contour or bronzer, you can use it however you want, it's a free world. I, I, I tried to contour, can you see it? <laughs> also from Soap and Glory I got this kick-ass concealer and it's not, you know, it's actually called kick-ass concealer. It's not me just saying it's a kick-ass concealer, but it is a kick-ass concealer. <laughs> Confused myself. <laughs> it's in this little box, right? And the first one you have like a little powder thing, which is really nice. As I said, I don't really use powder, so it's really nice to have one. Um, and the concealer itself is just two parts. One is kind of salmon pink, which you use for dark circles, and the other one is kind of just a nude for spots and stuff, and I just use this one mostly. And I'm concealed. Don't feel. Don't let them know. Shh, let it go. Let it go. We're getting through the makeup, don't worry. Um, one of the last things is Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick from Soap and Glory. And this is a gloss stick. Surprise. Uh, this is in the color Bashful. Can you see it? Can you see it? Put it on your lips. Captain Obvious. And it's really nice and it smells like vanilla. I liked it so much that I bought another one. And this one is like a really, it looks like it's orange, but it's kind of pink and it's called Fuchsiaristic. Fuchsiaristic. We're now moving on to body favorites and the first thing on my list is the breakfast scrub from Soap and Glory and this is the most amazing smelling body scrub in the world. Oh god, so good. It's so good. I can't, like, every time I go in the shower I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it. A couple of years ago a friend gave me this body butter that smelled like amber and 
I've never been able to find something that smelled so delicious <laughs> since. Um, I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know when you just, you know how smells, you just, if there's something that smells so good, you just can't get it out of your head, am I weird? Um, anyway, I was able to track down something that smelled like amber. Um, <laughs> this is a Victoria's Secret Amber Romance Body Butter, and oh my god. Mm. My whole body favorite thing is just like, it smells good, but it's so good. I was so happy that I finally found something that smelled equally good as the one that I used to have. Oh, no. Throughout June, July, and August, I kind of discovered Lush. I mean, obviously, I knew about Lush from before, but I never really got Lush. Um, but now I do. The first thing I really got from there was this Marilyn what do you call it, hair hair treatment, which is um, like a leave-in conditioner, you put it on before you shower and you leave it there for like 20 minutes and um, this is for blonde hair by the way, <laughs> um, but you leave it in and you, yeah, eventually you wash it out and your hair feels so smooth and it smells so good and this is really nice. What's in it? It's a like chamomile, lemon and just a like good smelly stuff. I've also been using one of their shampoo bars, and I got that purple one, um, which has kind of gotten stuck in this tin. Um, but yeah, it's a oh, it matches my nails. I'm just so in love with this one, and it smells like jasmine and lemons and lime, and it makes your hair really like airy. <laughs> so that was face, body, and hair. And now we're gonna move on to books, TV shows, and movies. My favorite book of the month has been Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And this book, this book. <laughs> I follow a lot of booktubers and a lot of them have been raving about this book for so long. And I don't know why I haven't read it yet, but I bought it at the airport. Um, it just kind of called to me <laughs> and I finished it by the time that my plane landed. I've been reading a lot of young adults lately and this kind of felt like an escape from that and it's just, it's a mystery and exciting. I love the main character, it's so good. Read it. There's a sequel which I need to go and buy like right now. My favorite show of the month is a show that I am a bit late to the party. Um, it is In the Flesh from BBC3 and it is a supernatural drama kind of show where uh, basically there has been a zombie apocalypse. Um, and they have found a cure, pretty much, where um, the zombies kind of, they become human, they can think and everything, but they're still kind of, they still look like they did when they died or when they got buried and it's, it's really strange, but it shows about how kind of they try to integrate the zombies back into society and the main character is one of these like half dead, half alive people. It's such a different take on the entire zombie apocalypse thing, which I love. <laughs> From when I was young, I've loved the idea of zombies. I'm one of those freaks who kind of wishes there was a zombie apocalypse. No, it, who said that? It's a good show and I like it. Movie favorite of the month, surprise surprise, is Guardians of the Galaxy. Couldn't be anything else really. <laughs> so good, it's like everything I love into one big movie with explosions and Chris Pratt and hmm I was a bit worried because I had such high hopes for this movie and it just kind of met all of them. The next one comes out in 2017. I'm gonna be 27. I'm 23 now. The next category is music and if you know me you know that I am a sucker for musicals and um, this month unfortunately one of my favorite musical Newsies closed on Broadway. So it won't ever be there. And I've been really sad about that. So I've been just replaying the Newsy soundtrack this whole month. Yeah, this has been hanging over my bed for a long time now. If you're into musicals, listen to the Newsy soundtrack. My next category is favorite place. This month I just completely fell in love with the Seven Sisters Cliffs. I can't really explain it with words how much I love this place. Uh, it was so gorgeous. I was just sitting there looking at the sunset. Yeah, I love this place. It's so special to me and I will keep coming back there every single time I'll be in the southern part of England. If you're ever in London and you have like a day off, you can totally just take the bus down and 
do it and go back up. It takes like an hour from London. It's it's so worth it. See it. See it. I also added a category called favorite events and uh, this might change from month to month but this month as you saw if you saw my last video I went to summer in the city which was an incredible experience. It was just such a cool place like everyone was YouTubers and I, I don't know what I was expecting be because before I got there I've seen a lot of videos where YouTubers talking about uh, the YouTube culture and how it's this like crazy fangirl place but it wasn't I don't understand how everyone is like talking so crap about this I was there on the Sunday by the way I was just there Sunday not Saturday or Friday and I heard that Saturday was a bit more crazy but on Sunday it was really relaxed there wasn't the whole barrier thing that I've been hearing about at all I'm so happy that I got to speak to some of these people that really inspired me that yeah it's just Oh, so nice. So that was all my favorites from this month. I really want to keep on doing this favorites videos because it's a lot of fun to talk about stuff you like. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, or all three of them. That would be awesome. And I will see your gorgeous face soon. <laughs>